Get the latest news and keep up to date with information about Soba America on Soba America TV. Welcome to the inaugural broadcast of Soba America TV Network. Soba America TV Network will bring to you news and information. And these would include a wide variety of topics, some of which are information, entertainment, sports, education, health and wellness, and much more. Today, you will be a witness to Soba America's news itself. This will cover items that affect Sobans in general. We do not forget those who are not Sobans. We shall cover you too by bringing in you news that is important to you and your community. We will have a focus on wellness and health in an innovative program by Soba America. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at how our parents fare when they visit us in the United States and in Canada. What are their challenges? Those will be shared with you. Not only those, ladies and gentlemen, we would look at our national convention we just passed in Baltimore, Maryland, 2019. We shall bring to you its insides and outsides and the surroundings. In our future presentations, we are going to take a look at the things that matter to you. So feel free to contact us and present your ideas. We want to fashion it for you. Our president will close today's broadcast with the presidential presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, enjoy Sober America TV Network. Thank you. September 2019th edition of the Sober America TV News Update. I'm your anchor, Emmanuel Takusi. On the 12th and 13th of July 2019, Sobans all over the Sober America nation convened in Nashville, Tennessee to bid a final goodbye to their comrade, their friend, their mentor, their loved one, Soban Christopher McNally. Soban Christopher McNally was a member, an active member of the Soba Georgia chapter. Fondly known as Grand Bokilo, Soban Christopher McNally was a victim of a ghastly motor vehicle accident that took place May 20th, 2019, just at the time when Sobans all over the world were mobilizing and preparing for the just ended national convention in Baltimore City in the great state of Maryland. What a loss. What a loss for Sober. 
what a loss for our community. Most importantly, what a loss for the family. I know, and I know, no. we can never understand your pain, but we can pray for the good Lord to comfort your hearts. Our correspondent, Fidelis Keze, has more of the story from Phoenix, Arizona. The last few months have been a very difficult one for the sober community here in the United States following the, pa the passing of some of our dear comrades. Most notably is that of Soban Christopher McNane, who passed away in the month of May, a few days before our long-awaited, anticipated Soba convention in Baltimore. His funeral uh, services took place in Nashville, Tennessee, and it was heavily attended by Sobans across the world. This indeed was a test for the newly elected Soba America president, Dr. Bernard, uh, Dr. Uh, Forte Bertrand, who rallied his team and rallied the community to make sure Magnane Christopher gets the best and befitting barrier following Soba America standards. And in solidarity to the family, and all of them will allow all of Sobans have a black wristband to show that we are together. Soba America also gave the family $10,000 as a gesture of goodwill and support. Similar uh, gifts came in from the, uh, the Atlanta chapter, from his classmates of the 1979 class, and of course from the 1981, 1984 class, among many other classes that stood up to the test of supporting a dear comrade. Magnane was flown, his, his remains was flown to Cameroon where he was buried in his home country in, in Bakosi in the southwest province in the Republic of Cameroon. Reporting live for Soba America TV Network, this is Fidelis Chibili in Keze. Thank you Fidelis. Thank you. Our Soba America family once again was struck by the cold hands of death where in St. Paul's, Minnesota and Charlotte, North Carolina, Sobans once again had to convene to bid yet another farewell to Sobans, Ray Corbena and Dr. Arnold Yomba. What a tough month. What a tough month for the fraternity. What a tough month for the sober American nation. And just when we thought it was enough, enough of the morning, our sober Georgia chapter announced the passing of sober Nkwele Paul Netuge of the 1990 class. May the Lord continue to comfort their families and comfort their hearts. Our correspondent, Jugana Sam, has more of these unfortunate stories. Thank you, Emmanuel. Indeed, this has been a very difficult year for the Super America family. Subanri Ikabena was the first president of Suban Minnesota who passed in loving memories. Under the leadership of the national president of Suban America, Dr. Bertrand Forte, Subans came together at St. Paul's Cathedral in Minnesota to give him a befitting funeral. This effort was led by the regional president of Suban Minnesota, Mr. Elliot Tang. In the same weekend, Subans in Charlotte, North Carolina, came together to bid farewell to a visiting sovereign of the 1950 class, Dr. Arnold Yombat. Also, the sovereign American family was dealt by the cold hands of death with the passing of another brother, sovereign Paul Metuga. He was a member of the Sober Georgia chapter and an active member of Sober America. Sober Paul Metuga died after a protracted illness. 
He was 40 years old when he passed. He leaves behind a twin brother, Mr. Peter Metuga, a fiance, his mom, and a large extended family to mourn him. Funeral arrangements have been scheduled for September 6th and 7th in Atlanta, Georgia. President Forte has directed the national leadership team to start preparations for an official Sober America Fairway Protocol. Soberans are encouraged to show up in Atlanta on September 6th and 7th to give one of our fallen heroes a befitting burial. More details to follow. Thank you, Jukang. It has been indeed a very difficult year for Soba America. Despite all these challenges, the newly elected Forte administration has continued with its bold agenda of transforming Soba America into a highly functional and all inclusive association. St. Joseph's College, Sase, was founded in 1939. The Soba American nation is a global village. That is why you find Sobans in any country, almost any country, on the face of this globe. In an effort to keep up with one of its campaign promise of inclusion, the Forte administration has issued a press release barely two months into office announcing the creation of new czars. The czars have been charged with merging the generational and geographical diversity that has for long plagued the association. The czars have promised our seventh in chief, Dr. Bertrand Forte, that they will work tirelessly to ensure that new members join the Sober America family. Also, in an effort to maintain an all-inclusive Sober America family, the Forte administration has also created more departments. Our correspondent Pascal Barbit has more to this story. Pascal? Emmanuel, I tell you, this administration truly means business and is transforming Sober America into a well-oiled machine right in front of our own eyes. Our administration is trying to create a Silver America that is all inclusive. That is why we're creating departments in Silver America because we want to ensure that many more Silverans are involved in the day to day management of Silver America. Each department is going to have five to ten Silverans that are team members with the NLT member at the head of that department. We feel this is a good way for Silverans to be engaged. We are also create, uh, installing a toll-free number for Sober America so that it will be easier for Sobans and the community at large to be able to reach their leadership. That is what we're trying to do in the Forte administration, connecting with Sobans, building an all-inclusive Sober America. Instead of having seven individual Sobans managing the day-to-day -day business affairs of Sober America, this administration have created entire departments responsible for such complex tasks. Each department consists of five to ten Sobans under the leadership of an elected national leadership team officer. In other words, every idea or initiative that comes into this administration is surrounded and processed by an entire department of Sobans. Like the famous discipline master Seklite used to say in Sase, many hands do light works. By getting Sobans, participate in the management of Soban America, this administration is doing the proper thing and at the same time achieving its vision for the organization. As you can see, the 40 administration is off to a strong start. We look forward to other initiatives that are down the pipeline of this administration. Reporting for Soba America TV, I'm Pascal Babit Sama. Emmanuel, back to you. Thank you, Pascal, for such a wonderful presentation. The Forte administration has just launched the Sober America White Pages Initiative. This is an effort 
to promote and celebrate Sobans all over the United States and Canada. The Ford administration believes that Sobans should celebrate and support each other. That's why we're launching the White Pages Project, which will allow us to have a directory of Soban and Sobanese businesses. So we're coming to you today to encourage you to be able to be part of this process. And we hope that you will enjoy that we're trying to reach out to as many Sobans as possible. Thank you very much. Coming up next, our community, our world. We tune in Wagbo, reporting from Los Angeles. Register for the Professional Scrum Master Training now. Contents include training, certification, interview preparation, resume preparation, LinkedIn profile and job search guide. Duration is two months for a fee of $1,000 only. Vendu Metropolitan Library 500 NW 122 Second Street Oklahoma City. Contact phone 516-444-5611 or email us at sajemba at gmail.com. Don't miss it while offer last. Welcome to this month's edition of Our Community, Our World. I'm your host, Tony Mbwagwa, and in today's edition, we'll be talking about the challenges our parents face when they come to visit their kids here in the US and Canada, and how one community is handling this issue. It's always exciting when our parents come from Cameroon to visit us. They come for different reasons, a short visit to care for a new grandbaby, health checkups, or even to move to the US or Canada. That joy and excitement of seeing your parents, sometimes after a long time, can quickly morph into frustration for both the parents and the children when the realities of life in the US and Canada catch up with our visiting parents who are used to a different culture and pace in Cameroon. Super America TV checked in with some parents to see some of the challenges they face. The challenge for the face now say, I did be now only for Isa house. When my picking they don't go work, I did be Isa house. When I come out outside, I know I see neighbor. I want salon neighbor. Neighbor go only make eye. You know what fell look me. When I go for store, I want buy. I did try for talk, they hear me. Then me too, I know they hear them. So I did feel difficult for that. Loneliness when everyone goes to work leaving mom or dad alone at the home was one of the points brought up. Then sometimes they go take me to a restaurant. They carry some big book put on my before. All kind of chop they inside. Mm -hmm. I don't know the one way I go choose her. <laughs> because that chop the way they drown, drown, drown. I did feel difficult for choose the one way I go chop. So sometimes we don't see someone with run drone and chicken chicken. I go say, man, they give me this one. Or I go ask because say, I bet choose chop for me. Because go just take some time and rice or chicken. I give me a job manager. I the manager and I manage them because I know if it chops today, I be satisfied. That the challenge is in that way. I get that since I come out Cameroon, come America. <laughs> Some moms occupy themselves with babysitting duties, but not every parent visits for childcare. Some occupy themselves with watching TV, but that too can be boring as some parents are not familiar with the TV programming here. In Cameroon, mom and dad typically spend their time going to Nganguese or other meetings that keep them busy. The mummies of the Charlotte community, as they call their group, have addressed this boy by creating their own name. Every first Saturday of the month, they meet at one of their homes to discuss health issues, tell stories, and just hang out. This helps reduce the stress of staying away from home. 
This approach by the mummies of Charlotte is truly a remarkable thing as it makes them very happy. Other Cameroonian communities are looking at this and considering similar meetings. Many communities also have senior citizen resources. It's like an exercise, but it's fun. You don't really know you're exercising. You're getting a good workout. You see how everybody is moving and sweating <laughs> and laughing and having a good time. But it's really exercise, and it exercises your whole body, not just one part of it. So everything is rejuvenated when they leave here. I've had a lot of people uh, come in here with uh, ailments like they need and they back. Uh, the doctor sent them in here to dance and uh, it's helping them out a lot. And plus a lot of women are losing weight. <laughs> I've always loved to dance. Like community centers that our parents can benefit from. A visit to those community centers can offer some activities that can take some mental stress away from our mummies and papas. Simple exercises like walking can also help keep them active and healthy when they visit. We want our parents to enjoy their stay when they come to visit and we don't want our Western lifestyle to create too much stress for them. That's our program for this month. Please come back for a future edition of Our Community, Our World. Welcome back. Please stay tuned for a message from our sponsors. Health Focus with Mafani Itoy. Welcome to Health Focus on Soba America TV, where we discuss wellness and health topics to help stimulate your mind and to build a healthier Soba America and Cameroonian community. In this edition, we will discuss Soba America's wellness and health challenge. It is for this reason that Soba America has created different task teams working on different endeavors such as mentorship, assisting our brothers initiative to assist members in need, and also in the creation of an investment arm for Soba America, which would act as an investment vehicle for all Soba America members. While all these task teams are important, we tend to ignore what's most important to all of us and to the well-being of Sober America, which is the health of our members. It is for this reason that Sober America has partnered with Sober Antonio Atabong in order to launch Sober America's first health initiative and challenge. This initiative is going to help improve on our health, longevity, and our well-being. This Sober America Health Initiative creates a pathway to health and wellness a strategic health and lifestyle change that will attempt to ensure good health and long life. I'm ready, I'm ready. One, two, go! Wow. The actual goal is not actually weight loss, but a mindset of health and longevity. Weight loss will come without a doubt, but as a result of healthy living. 
Sober America TV met up with a program sponsor and health expert, Sobantonia Tabong, popularly known as Uncle T. Here's what he had to say. Uncle T, tell us about Sober America 2019 Health Initiative. The Sober America 2019 Health Initiative is a path that creates health and wellness for Sobans. It is a strategic lifestyle change that attempts to ensure healthy and long life for Sobans. The actual goal is really not weight loss. We are trying to give them an idea or mentality of health and longevity, long lifespan and long health span. We are going to use weight loss as a matrix for rewarding uh, the winner. The program focuses on key pillars of longevity, which if followed, Sobans and Sobanese who take part would certainly benefit from this challenge. Uncle T explains furthermore on this. Uncle T, could you shed some light on health and longevity? When we talk about health, we are referring to a healthy mind, we are referring to a healthy body, healthy social relationships and having a sense of purpose and when we talk about longevity in this program we are talking about delaying the onset of chronic diseases that cause death and also having habits that are going to improve your life so that you can benefit from living longer 80% of people die from four major diseases cardiovascular cerebrovascular cancer neurodegenerative and then accidents but what longevity does is it delays the onset of these diseases because you invariably die with those very forcing diseases so we are proposing that people have habits that can push such that in their old age, they are healthy and they live longer. Now, there are certain pillars in longevity, which uh, if you do this, you would be for sure uh, live a long life. Nutrition, exercise, sleep, hormones, stress management, meditation, and avoidance of things like accidents. So these are the pillars which if you follow our program, definitely in your old age, you'll be healthier and you'll live longer and you'll be stronger. Participants will commit to exercising for one hour a day for up to five days a week. Uncle T discusses how this program will be run to ensure fairness and how data collection and monitoring will be done by our various chapters. Uncle T, it seems like you have this well planned, but I have a good question for you. How are you going to track the weight of all members and all participants into this program? How would you be able to ensure that it's fair and that it's not just a matter of losing weight, but you know, also taking into consideration what each person has lost in terms of weight? And um, how would you, when would the start date be to track this and when would the end date be? Oh, I'm glad you asked that question because we have a spreadsheet which is going to record all the weights as you register you are waiting and it is put in a database and then every month you weigh in and send your weight to your president or to where you registered at the end of the period Next year, in May, we're going to calculate the results based on percent weight loss. And the person with the highest percent weight loss would be the winner. Now, every month, your chapters, be sure to send in your weight. And we also have a WhatsApp group where we are updating 
monthly or periodically and we share information and encourage people on exercising and the information about the spreadsheet is open and available at any time for people to see. So basically we have a spreadsheet to track it, we are doing percent weight loss, we are going to track until May of next year before the convention, we are going to tally all the weights by percent weight loss and the winner will be the person who carries the final prize. The winner will get a cash prize of $1,000 from Sobantonia Tabong and his wife, Elizabeth Tabong. If most Soban American members are Sobans and Sobanese participate in this program, we can help build a healthier Soba America. More so, an anonymous donor has stepped in and offered to donate $1,000 should Soba America collectively lose 1,000 pounds during this health initiative. The national leadership team encourages all Sobans and Sobanese to join this program, which has tremendous health benefits. Investing in one's health is probably the best investment anyone can make. These days, too many young people are dying due to negligence. Yet, there is hope. We can all reverse cost today by joining this program. While you're at it, remember you can win $1,000. In order to have more information on this program and to participate in this program, you can contact us by email by sending an email to info at soberamerica.org or by giving us a call at 1-888-504-SOBER, extension 3. Reporting for Sober America TV from Dallas, Texas, Mafani Itwe. Taku Energy designs and manufactures quality solar products. From solar systems, solar controllers, inverters, solar batteries, solar street lights and lots of other numerous solar products you will ever need. For more information visit www.takuenergy.com or send us an email to info at takuenergy.com. You can also see LLS on 1-520-582-0065 in the USA or call us on plus 237-698. 413-509 in Cameroon. Taku Energy. You reliable solar equipment partner. Please, don't go away. We'll be right back with more of our broadcasts. You are watching Sober America TV Network and this is our feature presentation. On this edition we will focus on the 2019 Sober National Convention that took place here at the National Harbor. contested electoral campaign set the stage for a highly anticipated convention. After crisscrossing different states to campaign in different chapters and going through three presidential debates in Houston and Atlanta, the stage was set for a grand finale. 
The four candidates for president squared off one last time in front of a 400-man strong Soba America General Assembly for the final presidential debate before the polls were open. The Independent Commission on Presidential Debates organized the debate and it was moderated by its chair, Fidelis Nkeze. After a long session of deliberation that went past the allocated time, at 4 p.m. the polls were open and it was time for the big dance. It's time for voting. It's time to vote. Those are the ballot boxes, as you can see, for the four candidates. You can see people on the line. Line of servants trying to pass their civil duty, their civil rights. As you can see, some people are doing the last minute campaign. While they are waiting to go and cast their votes. Those are the four boxes for the four presidential candidates. Yeah, this is Bobuku live at the Soban Convention. Um, Baltimore, Maryland. This is the voting hour. If we take a look out there, go out there, go around, all the way to 360 degrees, you see a lot of people waiting in the line to vote, you know. This is some uh, Sasebo. By the time, in the next 30 minutes, we're going to know who is the president of Soba America, okay? In the next 30 minutes, we're going to know who is the president of Everybody is, yeah, as you can see, everybody is ready to vote for their candidate, you know. Vote for their candidate. This is my badge. I'm going to vote. And uh, this is my name right here. And my voter card, you know. So this is how we make history for the next sober president of America, okay? Police, you're interrupting my video, man. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I just want to give him a hard time. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. We have the results. The next and the ninth president of Soba America will be Dr. Fortran. Hey! For the first time in Soba America history, and never before seen in a Cameroonian Alumni Association in the diaspora elections, a professional independent company was hired to help conduct the elections. When the results were announced, Dr. Bertrand Forte became the next president-elect of Soba America. The Soba America nation was very proud of all the other candidates. Former Soba Treasurer Chief Fomenki, DMV President Ekole Fonjongo, and 1984 Class President Ferdinand Ako. I am pleased from my law firm and my Shortly after some brief remarks by Soba General President Professor Ephraim Wafo, who flew all the way from Cameroon to attend the convention, the new leadership team was sworn into office by His Royal Highness Emeritus Fondungala. The main banquet hall was packed with a record number of guests at the convention gala. The hotel's management puts attendance at between 1,000 to 1,200 people. After some hiccups which saw a significant delay in the start of the gala, things finally got on the way late into the night. Give me 
New President Dr. Bertrand Forte was introduced to a thunderous welcome by the legendary Nigerian musician and artist Flavor. The new president pledged to work with all sobans. All sobans as he delivered his inaugural address. Outgoing President Itoy led President elect Forte, President General Professor Nguafo, President of Soba Nigeria Professor Esimone, and NLT members in cutting the SJC 80th anniversary cake. Another highlight of the evening was when convention chairman Wilson Da Costa also gave very inspirational remarks before making a generous contribution of $10,000 pledge to highlight the evening. Outgoing President Itoy praised Chairman Da Costa for his historic donations to the needy as he handed him Sober America's 80th anniversary African philanthropist of the year. He further thanked the chairman for his continued support and partnership with Sober America and for the star power he brought, which made the event one for the ages. President Itoy presented President Emeritus Dr. Nick Eno with Sober America's most prestigious award the Spotlight Award. Besides the first annual Soba Golf Tournament that took place on the Friday of the convention, the Sunday afternoon barbecue featured a match pass of Sobans by class as they struggled to keep their lines. It was an afternoon of fun and entertainment with soccer and a local band providing the excitement. trickled out of Baltimore City, one thing was certain, the 2019 Soba American National Convention was one for the record books. There were some mishaps that did put some sad taste to some of our Sobans and patrons. The Forte administration is working hard to ensure that all future conventions are properly managed. Reporting for Sober America TV Network, this is Emmanuel Takusi. This is going to be Washington, D.C.'s most exclusive event in honor of all women in medicine. On October 6, 2019, at 2 p.m. right here in the nation's own capital. Join the vivacious physician authors of this exclusive book titled Beyond Challenges. 15 physician immigrant women, mothers, wives, entrepreneurs, peel back the curtain to empower you as to how to overcome your own challenges. Enjoy a three-course brunch at Magiano's Little Italy right here in Washington, D.C. 
Mark your calendars now. You don't want to miss this. Grab your tickets now. Limited seating available. Tickets are now available on Eventbrite and in the link associated below. Welcome back. He ran on a comprehensive vision and platform with detailed action items on inclusion, innovation, accountability, global leadership, and respect for sober America. Please stand by for the message from our Sober America President, Dr. Bertrand Ford. Sobens, greetings. I'd like to take a few moments and bring you up to speed with happenings of Sober America this past month. Unfortunately, our Sober America family was once again hit by the cold hands of death. We lost Sobern Quelle Paul Mituge in Augusta, Georgia. I've expressed condolences from First Lady Lara, myself, and the entire Sober America family to Sober Mituge's family. I encourage all servants who can make it to go to Atlanta the weekend of September 6th and 7th to be at his funeral as a show of support and solidarity. I have also instructed our national leadership team to begin preparations to ensure that our Sober America final goodbye protocol is implemented at Sober Mitigate's funeral. The Sober family also lost a senior Sober Peter Dubonga in the DMD area. I've expressed our condolences to Sobhan Dubange's brother, Sobhan Rudolph Dubange, and his family. Once again, I encourage all servants who can make it to the funeral services in Maryland to please do so as a show of solidarity. Funeral details will be forthcoming. As part of our administration's inclusion platform, we are creating departments in Sober America. Each of the seven NLT members will be heading a department that will comprise of between five to ten servants. We want more servants to be involved in the daily management of Sober America. Vice President Felix Gassa is going to head the office of the Vice President. Secretary Divine Tange will be in charge of our General Secretary. Financial Secretary and Chief Accounting Officer Edwin Atom will head our General Accounting Office. Treasurer and Chief Financial Officer, Rudolph Inoni, will head our Treasury. A Public Relations Officer and Publicity Secretary, Jokang Asong, will be in charge of our Communications Department and our Press Office. And our Organizing Secretary, Paul Foreman, will be in charge of the Department of Social Affairs. By getting more sobers involved in the daily management of Sober America, we bring inclusion and get more servants a voice in Sober America. Our administration is also taking steps to ensure that we celebrate each other. We're initiating our White Pages initiative, which will be a directory of businesses owned by servants and Sobernese so that servants can patronize each other's businesses. If you or a Sobernese own a business, Please send that information to info at so you can be included in our Sober America white pages. 
be obviously the vice president in charge of this project. I'm also happy to announce that we will launch our Sober America TV network this month. The team has worked really hard to put this together, and I'm sure you'll be proud. Our Sober America TV network will do three things for Sober America. It will improve our brand. It will give us an opportunity to inform and educate not just our sober family, but our global community as a whole. And it will also be a source of revenue through ICE for Sober America. My fellow sobers, we are working for you, and there's still a lot to come. But it's important that you renew your membership today if you have not done so, because we need you and your engagement to work together to build Sober America. As I always say, teamwork makes the dream work. So if you have not renewed your membership yet, please do so. You can go to our website, www.subamerica.org, or you can send cash out to Sober America Finance. Also, I'd like to invite you to join me at our first quarterly town hall meeting on September 21st, where I'll be talking with Sobans. It will be a Zoom call, and we'll be sending out the Zoom information soon. May God bless you. May God bless your families. Thank you for listening. to meet potential new customers, millions of them, call the number on your screen. Until next time, goodbye. Hello, you are watching Sober America TV. My name is Jean-Jacques Tayou, and you are watching Sober American TV. Hello, I'm Scott Nyambi, and you're watching Sober America TV. Hi, this is Lisa, and you're watching Sober American TV. I am Senior Sobani, Molastic Baby, class of 1965. I proudly watch Sober America TV. Good day, Sobans. This is Sylvester, watching Sober America TV. Sober American TV.